Okay, this video is to give some tips on when you're adding audio, you might uh, run into some troubles, like I did, and a few of you did. Uh, so uh, this is tips for number nine here, is using sound. So we follow the instructions in 3.4 down here, uh, and we did everything that he said to do. However, here's the problem. When I get destroyed by the bullets, well, first I'm going to get rid of these. There, I get rid of the, the shield so that I can get hit. You notice, okay, so it said game over in my console. My debug log says this, and it destroyed my game object, my player. So that worked, but the sound didn't play. So let me just show you my script here. So I'm looking at my player controller script. I added these two clips as he told us to in the video. I added excuse me, those two lines of code, this line of code here in the start method, and then I added right here the play one shot method, which grabbed that variable destroy, destroy sound. Okay, and then I put, just to confirm that I have it over here, I grabbed this metal hit sound and put it in there, and dragged it from over here. Let's just make sure it plays. I double click on it. Okay, it just sounds like a pan getting struck by a wooden spoon or something like that, or a metal spoon. Anyway, so we know the sound is working. You know that I've added it to my... Uh, yeah. I've added it to our... Uh, variable slot here. So, when I'm looking it all over, I'm going, why is this not playing? Because this is working. These lines of code are working. What I think it ended up being uh, is that when it destroys the object, it's also destroying... Excuse me, let's just go back here. It's destroying this on the screen, so watch. Which means it doesn't play it because it's destroyed. That's what I think, or at least that's what I concluded. So watch when it gets hit here. Get rid of these... Try to get rid of the shield so I can get hit faster. Oop, there it goes. Okay, so sure enough, it destroys all right, the game object here from our hierarchy. And because of that, I think that's what the problem is, um, that it's not playing the sound. So my solution is to make this a child of another layer, or excuse me, of a game object. So, for example, my shooting sound, I put on the, the shot spawn. I added a shoot sound script. Let's just go in here and I'll show you. It, and this is just a different sound that you heard when the uh, the bullet, whenever I press my space bar, right here, if key is down, space bar, play this, the shoot sound. Okay, so I put that in my shot spawn game object, and then I added an audio source. And so and I dragged the sound over there into it. I'm just opening it up to show you the settings. Uh, so anyway, this is working fine. Every time I hit spacebar, that works. And you can see that's a child of this of this game object. So I'm just going to do a right mouse click and create another game object. I'll just call it, hmm, let's see, parent player maybe uh, and then I'm going to grab my player and drag it as a child of so now you can see it's a child of then I'm going to do the same thing create another script where this will delete so I want the game object to deleted off the screen but then this parent player object will have the sound played but it won't be destroyed so that way it'll be able to play Okay, I just paused it there for a minute and did a few things. Let me show you what I did. I, on the parent player, I added a new script. And so here it is, parent player controller script. And let's go take a look at that. And all I did was I took from my player controller, I just copied everything, pasted it over here, but then I deleted um, and all this stuff. And then I commented out anything that I kept. Anything that I kept over here, 
So for example, the audio clip, audio source, the third audio, and this, so that it plays. I just commented those lines out that I kept. So comment, comment, comment here, that one. And I commented out this one. So it ignores it, but then I still have it in case something goes wrong. I'm going to go back and get it. Anyway, so now it should be destroying when the bullet hits, but it's not trying to play the sound here on the player controller script. Just on the parent player controller script, which is not destroyed. Only the player is destroyed, but not the parent player. Um, now, because I did that and commented out, we lost the uh, destroy sound component. And so now we have to put it back. If you haven't done so, you just have to drag whatever sound you want right here because now it shows up underneath parent player instead of player. Now, also you have to make sure you add the audio source. And now watch what happens. Mine doesn't work, and I'll show you why. Just, okay, let's see. I'll get hit. Okay, notice it didn't play the sound. Yet. Doggone it, it still didn't work. And that's just because I forgot to put the collision, or collider, uh, caps, oops, I think it's called a capsule collider, isn't it? Why can't I think of the name here? What does this one have? Let's go look at this one is. It is called a, yeah, capsule collider. So, there we go. And now, capsule collider, Ooh, it's off a little bit. So we just need to make sure that's drag. I'll pause it and I'll do that. And then it should work just fine. So my capsule collider kept, uh, it wasn't just perfect. And so every time I played it, it would, it would just, um, die. Like it would go to this. Uh, so, oops, so what I did was I went to my player controller script and I just changed this to say, um, oops, I went to the wrong one. Oops. I decided to say, if it's only equal to the bullet, only at that point the enemy bullet, instead of saying not equal to, because the only thing that hits hits it is the enemy bullet. And I named my enemy bullet, there it is, if I double click, oops, back into edit mode over here, that's where I got the tag name. All right. That should do it.